free lunch is basically based on this idea of Grinnold and Kahn call it the fundamental law of asset management. And you can see the equation here. So this equation isn't an exact equation, but it's more of a guideline of how asset management works. And it's the information ratio, which is in a sense equivalent to the Sharpe ratio or the risk adjusted returns equals DIC, which is information coefficient times the square root of breadth. And information coefficient is basically, we could say roughly is the skill of a portfolio manager. You know, when you are a good portfolio manager, you kind of know how to analyze this. Let's just say Warren Buffett, he obviously has a good hand in analyzing stocks, let's say. And so he's got a high skill level, but at the same time, we've got breadth as well. And breadth is effectively how many different products or assets you have under management. It could also be in a breadth in time, but let's, let's leave that out for a moment. So let's just say you have a high skill level, but your breadth, let's say in the case of Warren Buffett is quite low. So you only have, let's say 10 or 20 stocks under management. So in order to get a high information ratio, you basically need a very high skill level or information coefficient. On the other hand, if your skill level is not so high, but you actually have quite a large breadth, you can reach the same information ratio, but just by a lower skill level and more broad assets under management. And this is effectively where the free lunch comes from, because when we have, and this is clear, breadth only works if the assets that we have under management are well diversified. If they're all of a similar nature, then we don't actually have any breadth, which is quite obvious. 